All right, welcome back to the channel, Cyborg Pirate, cyborgpirate.com. So here we are, we've been out uh, with the Smako, the 700 Max, a um, couple of times we've found uh, a couple of things that we didn't like about it, um, but are easily remedied, not a big deal. So what we did is we got rid of the mouthpiece that it came with and we put one of the XS Scuba um, Comfort Fits on, which um, we went with the orange to match everything else, kind of makes it pretty cool. Um, not a fan of the rubber hoses for scuba myself anyway, so seeing as how we make hoses, we went with the MyFlex orange hose. Probably the biggest issue that I did not like is the high pressure hose. It's very flimsy, it's unprotected, and it points straight up when it comes out of the manifold the way it comes from the factory. Uh, I just didn't like the way it was not protected and was kind of left vulnerable. Um, didn't like it, so we disposed of that. So let's get into some of the things that we went with here. So we did use their, their SPG and we put a 90 on it so that it, um, so that it's easier for us to read. Again, it's just, it's just more of a, um, confirmation than it is really an SPG just to keep you there. We did go with a MyFlex high pressure hose and um, couldn't get that one in orange so we, we went with the, with the standard black on that. And we also put a swivel on it so that it turns to 90 degrees and it swivels back and forth to give that hose a little more protection and keep it from being bumped and uh, breaking. We went with MyFlex orange hose because, again, I don't like rubber hose myself. Um, and we went with the orange again to match the Smacko and also the regulator. Uh, believe it or not, the regulator is actually very decent. Again, keep in mind, this is only designed for about 10 meters or 33 feet of depth um, and not really any deeper. So as you go deeper than that, um, this regulator is not going to function really well for you. But a couple of things that we do like, um, you can adjust your flow rate here. My suggestion is, is um, just open it all the way and, and let it uh, adjust that first stage um, the way it's just going to flow there for you because you don't have the venturi on this right, the second stage here. Um, after we did our visual inspections we did put the uh, our, de our decals on them there to annotate that and um, this thing has been quite a lot of fun um, again I don't recommend this for actual scuba diving or the replacement of um, any type of certification if you are not scuba certified at least open water don't don't go with this. Don't purchase this. This is not something you're going to end up getting yourself hurt if you don't have the proper knowledge. Um, that being said, again, I don't condone this for um, for the layperson who is not properly certified. But if this is something that if you're a boat owner and you have um, the possibility of getting your anchor stuck, again, certified, um, a possibility of getting your anchor stuck, this is a great little tool to get down there um, and unstick that anchor. What I've used it for is I've used it for two boat inspections now. So again, I'm only maximum six feet under the water. Um, I'm inspecting the hull, I'm inspecting the running gear, and uh, I have also changed out some anodes with it. So it's been great for that. It's just a nice little light, easy carry pack. It's neutrally buoyant in water or in fresh water. Um, and uh, so it's it's worked out very well. Um, it's a lot of it's it's real easy and it's um, compact, which makes it really nice. You're not dealing with a big bulky uh, single tank or anything else when you're down there under the boat and you're trying to work between the running gear um, and the rudder, etc. It's it it makes it pretty nice to to be able to do that. So that's what we're using it for is um, emergency on the dive boat. If just a quick grab and go to get out if some if one of our divers is having an issue. Uh, set of fins, mask, and go. Um, and then also we're using it for boat inspections. Um, so it's it's been pretty cool and pretty good for that. We'll continue to use it. We'll continue to update you. Um, any other changes that we add? Um, again, out of the box, some changes that we made that we didn't necessarily um, like from our own perspective, but you know it passed the EN250 certification. So those those were okay. 
Um, it just was something that we didn't like and we made it better, but anyone who knows me knows that uh, pretty much everything I have gets modified at some point anyway. So thanks for checking us out. Uh, stay tuned. We have a lot more stuff coming and uh, thanks for watching. Check us out at cyborgpirate.com. Cyborg out.